Tribute is paid Dr. Nicholas Murray Butler by Mayor Furry of Patterson, New Jersey, Dr. Butler's hometown. In a ceremony at Columbia University, which he headed for many years, the educator is presented with a scroll attesting Patterson's pride. General Walter Beadle Smith, United States Ambassador to Russia, arrives in Moscow to present his credentials. The new ambassador is received by ranking members of the Foreign Office and the Chairman of the Supreme Soviet. General Smith will have the delicate task of maintaining relations badly shaken by differences among the Big Three. But world affairs aside, here is the beauteous Madeleine Carroll arriving in Madrid, where apparently fans have not forgotten her, despite her absence from the screen during the war years. Miss Carroll will take the leading role in a motion picture to be produced in Spain with Portuguese cooperation. And the welcome mat is out for Marlena Dietrich as she arrives in Paris, once her old stamping ground. And she hasn't changed a bit. The Hollywood star will make a picture in France with Jean Gabin. You see, she really hasn't changed a bit. Aboard the carrier U.S. Sidor, the stage rises in a full dress rehearsal for photographers and pilots who will take part in Operations Crossroads when atom bombs will be dropped on Bikini Atoll. Since literally thousands of cameras will be used to photograph the tests from every possible angle, split-second coordination will be required of pilots and cameramen, and traffic will be congested on the flight deck when the great day arrives. To help clear the decks faster, catapults are used. Pilots of these torpedo bombers have been repeatedly briefed. There's never any let up in landing practice on a carrier. In a second, you'll see why. And just to show that life on a carrier is never monotonous, watch this. It's all part of the tune-up. <laughs> 